In this video, we're going to take a look at some harder order of operations problems, specifically problems that have parentheses in them or fractions. Now, when I say a problem that has parentheses, I don't mean just one standard set of parentheses, but we're going to see that parentheses inside of parentheses inside of parentheses. To help us keep track of what parentheses go with which, quite often we'll change the shape of the parentheses. We might put square parentheses around the curves or a bracket parentheses around the square. And that's nothing special. They're all really just parentheses. And they all really mean the same thing, do this first. In fact, what they ultimately mean is do the innermost parentheses first. And once you have that inner parentheses worked out, then you kind of start working out and do the next inner and the next inner until you finally finish all the parentheses. The other type of problem we're looking at will have fractions. And with fractions, what we'll have is an invisible parentheses around the top and bottom. The math words for those are numerator and denominator, but we'll get more to that when we actually talk about fractions. So let's take a look at simplifying one that might be a little more involved. Here we've got all sorts of stuff happening, but what we're most interested in is the innermost parentheses as we get started with our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the innermost parentheses are these curved parentheses. There's nothing around those. And then this other curved parentheses is the innermost parentheses. So we can do those first because there are the inside parentheses. 4 plus 2 is 6, minus square parentheses, 5 squared, divided by 2 plus 3, that's 5. Again, notice the only thing I'm changing is that one step. We still have another parentheses to work with, and inside the parentheses, order of operations tell us to do exponents before we divide. So we'll do the exponent 5 squared first, giving us 6 minus 5 squared is 25, divided by 5. And finally, we're now ready to finish the parentheses by dividing. We now have 6 minus 25 divided by 5 is 5, and we're almost done, 6 minus 5 is 1. So we start with the innermost parentheses, and using order of operations, we work out. Let's try one that kind of looks like a funky fraction. With this funky fraction, all kinds of stuff to do. We're going to remember that as we work through, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, there's an invisible set of parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. In other words, we have to simplify the numerator and denominator completely first before we can worry about dividing. Sometimes to make this easier, people do the top and bottom separately. So why don't we take a look at the top and what's going on in the numerator? We have 4 plus 5 times 9 minus 2. Doing the parentheses first, we would have 9 times 7, and then finally 9 times 7 is 63. So the top or the numerator comes out to 63. The bottom or denominator is 2 cubed plus 2 squared plus 9. So again, order of operations inside the parentheses first, doing exponents first. We'll have 2 cubed plus 2 squared is 4 plus 9. Finish out the parentheses by adding. We have 2 cubed plus 4 plus 9 is 13. Now, outside of the parentheses, 2 cubed is 8, doing exponents before we add the 13. And finally, 8 plus 13 is 21. The denominator comes out to 21. Put it all together, we have 63 on top, 21 on the bottom, and we have a fraction that we can actually reduce. 21 goes into 63 three times, and we have our final solution. By simplifying the numerator and denominator, top and bottom separately, then bringing them together and saying, how does this reduce? What does this divide to? We can simplify a very complex-looking expression with the order of operations.